Hello, my name is Giovanni Mancini. I'd like to welcome you to our booth here at SID in 2013. I'd like to show you some of the new products that we are showcasing here this year um, in, our, in our booth. One of the main products that's getting a lot of attention is that we announced a product called Mobius. Mobius is an ultra light, very thin, flexible display. And because it's flexible, made out of plastic, it's very light, very rugged. Which means that I can drop this display on the floor and it will remain perfectly intact, unlike a glass display. Uh, the first product that uses Mobius is a product from Sony, which they refer to as their digital paper product. What this, what this device is, is um, an A4 formatted um, reader application that you can use in a number of different um, uh, markets or d different types of applications. In this example over here, I actually have a college text loaded on it. What's great about the device, apart from the fact of its size and the fact that it's so light, as you can see that I'm holding it at a very uh, sharp angle and it's so light that it just, you know, just kind of the friction with my hand is holding it, is that it comes with both um, hand touch, so I, I can use it to turn the page, and it also has a digitizer function, so that I could annotate onto the device. So using the <clears throat> Using the pen, I can make notes. I can choose to highlight specific specific passages on it in the same way that you would uh, a text or uh, or any document that you'd want to read. So as I turn as I turn to continue reading and I go back to the original page, it actually rem remembers all my anno annotations. So this is a, a device that Sony is now piloting with three universities in, in Japan. Uh, they will actually be testing this in, their, uh, in the curriculum of some classes there, and they're planning to commercialize this product by the end of uh, this year. In addition to Mobius, we have two big announcements of the show this year. The first product is Spectra. What Spectra is, is, is the first electrophoretic uh, display technology in which we've been able to encapsulate three different pixels in one micro cup and actually bring this to production. So what we've done is we actually put white, black, and red in, uh, in the same micro cup, which allows us to give you a very vivid red display. This display technology has been uh, engineered specifically for electronic shelf labels. The reason why this is important for shelf labels is that red gives you three distinct advantages in shelf labels. One is that it could be used to enhance a company's brand. There's a lot of company brands that have red in their color. Second, you can use the red to highlight promotional sales that you have. So you want to bring your customers' attention to, to merchandise that you want to uh, move in the store. And third is that you can actually use the red as more uh, for informational displays so that you can also provide information to, to your customer. The SID committee recognized Spectra as one of the best in show display products this year. Another announcement that we have this year at, at SID is a product called Aurora. What Aurora does, it expands the temperature range of our displays all the way down to minus 25 degrees. This allows you to put electronic shelf tags in a freezer. So if you combine Aurora with our standard shelf tags and our uh, Spectra product, we have a shelf tag solution that goes anywhere from the freezer to the uh, normal aisles in a store and onto the promotional aisles. Another area that we're focusing on this year is digital signage. Uh, at the top of this display, we have a 4x5 tiled sign where we use 20 independent displays to make one large billboard. What you typically would see this is, is in a place where you would normally have a paper billboard that you'd want to, re and you could replace this with our tiled sign. And the advantage is that this would use almost no power, and you could update the sign remotely. Below that, we have actually a segmented display that consumes a lot less power, a lot, a lot easier to maintain and build, and this is, this is for an application like a, a train station where you're providing information to the traveler. Um, as a display of what's possible with our technology, um, what we have here is a display where we actually bring the display all the way to the edge. So there's literally uh, no gap between the edge of the display this allows you to put a tiled sign, um, a very large tiled sign together and, and put very large displays on that. Now, when we're looking at the digital signage area, one of the, the things that people are looking at is digital signs for providing information. And here's where we can actually use our Triton product 
and be able to deliver much, uh, much richer colors by increasing the size of the pixels. So this is a sign that's been engineered to be, a view, be viewed from about six feet away. So for those type of applications, we can actually give you much richer colors by using larger pixels, but then at a standard viewing angle of about six feet and beyond, you see the pixels actually disappear. So the rich saturation of the color remains, but uh, you, you no longer have, see the actual details of the pixels. One sign that we have here is this tiled display from Mpicosys and Pervasive Displays, where they have taken six 7.4 inch diagonal displays and made a larger display. What's novel about, uh, about this display is that it's actually using uh, a one bit black and white. So there's, there's actually no scale in the pixels themselves and they're achieving grayscale by using dithery. So as you will see, you can actually get really very good uh, reproduction of images using this type of technology. And this image over here is actually no grayscale at the pixel level, but through dithering we're actually able to uh, deliver a, a grayscale for the, the full image. One of the things that um, people notice about our, our displays is, is that they have a full page refresh every once in a while when you um, turn the pages. What we're showing over here is that we also have improved our, our um, page turn capability so that we've virtually eliminated the need for having a full page refresh. So you no longer have that transition to black and to white when uh, every time that a, that a page updates. One of the things we're also highlighting here at, uh, in our booth this year at SID is the development platforms that are starting to come onto the market to support e-ink displays. So starting with a kit from Solomon Systec, which can be used for developing segmented type of display applications, to a kit that, can, that is targeted for ESL applications in which you're using an Arduino open source hardware platform with an Adafruit display kit. This type of environment is roughly the order of $60, and it comes with a whole host of um, open source software. For slightly larger displays, we have a kind of the above 2.7 range. The, there's an e-paper kit from Embedded Artists. And finally, for larger e-reader type of applications, we have a kit here from Freescale. This is a product that was announced at CES this year. It uh, won the Best in Show award. It is the world's thinnest watch at 0.8 millimeters thick. Because it was able to use an e-ink display, it's how they were able to achieve a very thin watch. Um, and because of the low power consumption of an e-ink display, you only need to charge this, uh, this watch for um, 10 minutes and, it'll, and your batteries will last for a full, uh, full month on that. So here we have a prototype of what the uh, inside of the watch looks like. You have an e-ink segmented display where here central center timing chose the, to use their own custom font. Um, we have a very thin, thinner, uh, thinner G battery and the actual electronics that uh, provide the timekeeping time capability. A 3G cell phone from Onyx that actually uses a 4.3 inch e-ink display. Okay, here what you have is, you know, basically a smartphone using an Android operating system. It has a standard form, phone function, very responsive touch, uh, touch display for dialing, has an e-reader capability, both books, and as you can see, very responsive page turning. If I look at the settings, you can basically bring up the at about phone that actually shows that we're running Android version 2.3.5. With that, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to visit with us at the Inc. booth. And until next year, thank you.